Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, after months of waiting, we finally have the 8020 to build the rooftop tent. After lots of anticipation, we prep the camper for paint, have it professionally bedlined, and the camper finally takes shape into an almost complete shell. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. All right, so the day has finally come to make the rooftop tent with the uh, base for the first time and the last time, hallelujah. So it's gonna take a very long time to bolt everything together. Um, I have to line up all the holes uh, with the T-slot that is in the 8020 channel. Uh, so it's gonna be a pretty long, painful process, but hopefully everything lines up and uh, get all the bolts in and move on to putting the panels on. So I want to give a huge shout out to Ripcord. Uh, if you haven't, check out his uh, camper build. He's got a full detailed list of everything he used. I kind of discovered him while I was building this. Dude's a uh, real help in this, in this uh, build. So basically the rooftop tent part, I copied his design.
after two days, no exaggeration, of bolting, shifting, looking through the hole, bolting, and shifting again. She's 100% all together and it's probably the most relieved I've been. Tell you what, that part really tested my patience just about more than the entire build. If anyone's ever done any build with 80-20 as the rooftop just like this, um, you'd know that this part is a real pain in the keister. Mostly because the 80-20 um, T-slots shift around and uh, lining up the holes to get the T-slot with the Brett with the uh, bolt is just such a pain in the butt. So super stoked. It took about four times taking it on and off. Um, and if I showed you that whole process, this video would be about seven hours long. So I'll just show you a little bit of recap and uh, I'm gonna keep on moving, putting the panels on today. And uh, after that, just sealing it up. She's ready to be shipped off to paint, so. Let's get her going.
going on here. If you'd like to come down here and see what's going on. quite the right. Let's see, I think. My face hurts from grinning right now. I'm just uh, beyond stoked. It turned out way better than I actually even pictured. Um, fits perfect. And uh, honestly, it weighs a lot, but there's not really any squat on the truck. Um, Yoda's got a decent payload. Um, it's super roomy in the inside pretty unreal I'll open it up for y'all in a minute but i just kind of want to show you what it looks like closed portholes aren't permanently secured yet but uh just put them in there to show you what it's gonna look like this obviously is not gonna be how it's gonna uh, look when it's complete i'm uh gonna be doing something pretty cool in the inside uh, it's gonna be all finished off and gonna build a drawer system so uh, that's gonna be the next thing after the shell is actually complete but um at least we're almost to the point of it uh, being able to stay on the truck. The only thing I have left to do really is uh, the hatch. I build the hatch out of plexiglass, which unfortunately right now there's a major shortage of because everyone's uh, using it for cash register. Once that's on, uh, it should be fully weatherproof and I can drive it while I'm uh, finishing it up. Stoke's real high, I cannot believe it. Been waiting for this day, very long time. Can I get a deal of uh, idea of what the clearance looks like? It's about. I mean, it's uh, it's higher than most campers, but I'm not too upset about it because I was actually planning on possibly putting a, you know, a rack up here, so it's gonna have a lot of clearance for that. But yesterday, uh, I had the whole thing. Uh, bedline, so I haven't really had a whole lot of time to film a lot of the process going into that this week. Um, been pretty much working nonstop trying to get this thing ready to get be painted, but um, it turned out even better than I thought. It's pretty unbelievable. All the holes where the uh, where I sil siliconed um, are totally sealed and covered up. You can hardly even see where the bolts were. And uh, the texture is unreal. It's <laughs> it's insane. In the sunlight, it shines bright like a diamond. It is pretty unreal. Um, but it sealed everything. The bolts are totally gone. All the wells on the top are totally gone. You can't even tell from the texture that they were even there to start with. Um, the only way you could really tell it's a ladder rack is if you know you know them Hobo Freight ladder racks too well, and you could tell that this is from it these you know bolts here and then you can see the feet and then uh in the front you can kind of tell but you know you give her a good six steps back tell me that's not factory um well not factory but it's uh it's a one of a kind even got the uh you know the roll and the pitch level indicators in case you're wondering, you know, you gotta one side. You wanna make sure you're not listing too much. Um, but that's pretty dang nifty. So you can uh, go ahead and park that and uh, know that you're not gonna be sleeping on a hill and uh, shim yourself up and know that you're good to go. That's pretty cool. Um, lift it up and show you how much clearance we have. All in all, I haven't measured it yet, but standing in the inside, there's close to easily 12 foot of head room. Um, obviously there's gonna be a drawer system that you're gonna be standing on, but still it's, there's a lot of room up here. It is, uh, it's insane. Just for perspective, that's a regular size camp chair. So. And uh, I'm 6'5", and I can't reach the roof. Without the 
deck system that I'm gonna be building right now. Um, just the side of it is standing almost shoulder length. So it's an insane amount of room. Sitting in a chair, you got another, you know, foot of room or so, and uh, doesn't feel small in any way. Um, I don't have everything rigged as far as the way it's gonna actually uh, be strapped down, but I'm kind of thinking something like this. Obviously, that's not gonna be the permanent solution, but um, I wanna do a J bolt onto the turnbuckle. And then also, these are uh, truck toolbox clamps. So that's just an extra thing, not really necessary, but that should be more than enough. 